Hi guys, welcome to Asian Petrol. Today we have the new 2022 Genesis G80 Sports with 3.5 liter twin turbo. Yes, we have shown you the Genesis G80 Sports not long ago, but it was a rainy day, so we really could not push the car. So we got it one more time. So let's go have some fun today. And you know, this is a red one. Genesis G80 is the executive sedan from the Genesis brand that competes against rivals such as Mercedes E-Class, BMW 5 Series, and even Audi A6. So stay tuned because at the end I'm going to tell you whether the Genesis G80 Sport is a better car compared to the competition. And comparing the dimensions, Genesis G80 is the longest, widest, it also has the longest wheelbase. But interestingly, Mercedes E-Class is tallest. I'm a little bit worried about the headroom. So let me just show you the second row seats first. You guys don't know I'm about 6'2". And even soft closing doors. Uh, legroom is plenty, but for my height, I think headroom is a little bit limited. Um, window comes down, not all the way, but almost all the way. Double laminated. And love the fact that we're given manual sunshade for the side and we also have walk-in device for lazy people like me uh, two air vents climate control down here large hump in the middle for the all-wheel drive system and very comfortable armrest two cup holders pop-up type and we also have a large primary sunroof on the top and speaking of good armrest we have many many controls on the top so let me just walk you through it you can recline the seats like this, uh, more rise, three stage heated and ventilation seats, more rise sunshade for the rear. We also have a Genesis control in the middle, volume, sick button, back home menu, and you can also turn on off two large screens from here. And these screens are actually optional. Genesis is charging about 2000 US dollars here in Korea. So guys, do let me know whether you can get your Genesis G80 with these rear infotainment screens in your country. So what can you do with these screens? You can certainly check the climate map and also weather and camera so you know what's going on outside. You can also input the destinations for the driver and also set the ambient light. So yeah, you can do many things from back here. And looking at the car from the front, still good looking Genesis G80. Genesis logo on the top. Crest grill in the middle, 360 camera, radar sensor for the adaptive cruise control, and because this is the uh, sport train, we have a different looking low bumper design and still two lines DRL. So let me just show you the LED headlamp system working in action. That's DRL, headlamp, high beam, turn signal, there's no fog lamp, and this is what horn sounds like. Okay guys, you can get Genesis G80 with two different engine choices, 2.5 liter turbo or 3.5 liter twin turbo. Like I told you, 2.5 liter turbo is also used for new Kia Sting, a lovely, lovely engine. But our tester actually came with more powerful 3.5 liter twin turbo, producing about 380 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque. Engine is made it to 8-speed automatic built-in house and our tester also came with the optional all-wheel drive system. So now let me just show you how fast this new 2022 Genesis G80 Sport can be. We also have launch control because this is the uh, sports trim. It's actually very easy to use. Just need to put the car into sports plus mode which is also new for sports trim need to take one more esc off two stage foot on the brake full throttle system ready go i was pulling very nicely oh my god it shift brutally into sports plus mode and it took 5.4 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour even this cold weather very nice <laughs> And looking at the car from the side, really love how this line starts from the headlamps, carried all the way up to the tail lamp system, and still lovely looking two-lined side 
repeaters. And our tester is wearing 20 inch rims. It's wearing 245, 40 up front, 275, 35 by 20 at the rear. And it's wearing Michelin PS4S tires because this is the sports trim. Okay, now let's check out the braking performance of this Genesis G80 Sport then. A bit more speed. Well, oh, pulls very nicely. It took Genesis G80 Sports only about 107 feet to a complete stop. Felt stable and confident. And yes, if you ask me, this Genesis G80 Sports feels much secure compared to Genesis GV80 because of lower center of gravity. Oh my God. You can really feel the rear steering wheel working in action. <laughs> And looking at the car from the rear, still have two line tail lamp systems. That's Genesis G80 all wheel drive system and lovely looking dual exhaust system on the bottom. So let me just let you hear it. Yeah, so it's not that loud. You know, this is a Genesis. So if you want something louder, I suggest you go with an aftermarket exhaust system and trunk. This is how you open the trunk. Trunk seems to be quite large, but because the second row is reclined, the second rows do not fold. So we're just giving a passage through in the middle. Okay, now let's go out and drive this new 2022 Genesis G80 Sport then. Not much has changed from the interior. We still have three dimensional 12.3 inch gauge cluster. You can set it to 3D like this, but not really a big fan because sometimes it just makes me dizzy. And to the right, we also have 14 points, five inch large screens, which also shows you augmented reality turn by turn directions. And you know, it's quick to respond and Really great graphics. First, I really did not like this Genesis control, but as I used it more and more, yeah, beginning to really like it because screen is sort of far away from where I'm sitting. What about interior space? Well, there's plenty of legroom, but headroom is somewhat limited. I'm about 6'2", and my hair is just brushing against it. So if you're taller than me, make sure you have a seat on the driver's seat and make the decision. Okay, let's start with visibility. Just like any other Genesis models, we have large windows all around. Side mirrors are pretty good too. And we also have blind spots, alert system, and also monitoring system, which will greatly help you during your lane changes. And we also have a large head-up display on the top. So yeah, it's quite a pleasant place to be. Okay, let's do talk about engine for a second. Yes, 2.5 liter turbo is smooth, efficient, and very engaging, but this 3.5 liter twin turbo just pulls a lot harder. Let me just put it into sports mode and let you enjoy it. <laughs> wow. I talk about transmission very soon, but in sports plus mode, it just shifts brutally. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what am I driving anymore. This is supposed to be a luxury sedan, but now it feels like a sports car. Woohoo! My God! The rear wheel steering wheel is doing excellent job. Wow, better slow down. Great brakes. Engine is made it to A speed automatic. We're also given paddle shifter, so let me just show you working in actions. Two, wow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. So, yes, it's shifting very quickly. I'm sure you guys are more familiar with uh, ZF A speed automatic, but this is built in house A speed automatic. I think it's 
very close to ZF 8 speed automatic and in sports plus mode. I think it's shifting a little bit tougher. Oh my god. I really like, like this 8 speed automatic. Woo! That was a good run. Okay, guys, let's try a few corners. Uh, let's go with third gear sounds good. I really look forward to see the uh, rear her steering assistant. Oh my God, it's taking very nice. Oh my God. Oh wow. PS4S tires and rear her steering assistant and everything is just making this car turn. Uh, one little complaint about the Mercedes system is that the ESC engages too early, ruining all the fun, but not with this uh, Genesis G80 Sport. I mean, I'm really loving the uh, rear rear steering wheel system. It's so effective. Um, and the Michelin PS4 as tight, you guys all know, it's just gripping the hell out of the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the road. And <laughs> so fun, let's try it one more time. Oh my God. Okay, let's try one more time on this hard left. It is beginning to snow a little bit, but... Wow! <laughs> oh my God, ESC and everything. All-wheel drive system and even river steering, steering wheel system. And everything is making this car stick to the ground. And get this, I think this car handles even better than the uh, Kia Stinger. GT probably because of the rear rear steering wheel system. So if you love performance, if you love to throw your cars around, if you can get the uh, sport trim, um, please do get it. Um, it's just totally different car with the rear rear steering wheel system. And it feels very stable, even on very, very high speeds. And Great brakes, very stable. What was Genesis thinking building this car? Why didn't you just make a coupe out of this? That'd be much better. Oh my God. Let's also check out the efficiency of this new 2022 Genesis G80 Sport. It has returned about 19 miles per gallon in the city and over 32 miles per gallon on the highway. So it's actually better than I thought, but if you want better efficiency, then you should really go with 2.5 liter turbo. But I like this much better. <laughs> wow. And to answer the question, you know, design is quite subjective, but I think Genesis G80 just comes with more features. And this sport trim, I think, handles better than the competition with rear wheel steering wheel system. So if you want more features, better handling car, then you should definitely go with the Genesis G80 Sport. All right, guys, this has been our test ride with the Genesis G80 Sport. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll be back with much, much more. So if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Stay healthy, and bye-bye.